This is what happened if the queen died. London Bridge has happened. Check it out. Six years on the throne, Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in British history and has been a constant and calming force amidst the fast-paced changes her country has faced, making it even more inconceivable to think about what happens when she dies. Born in 1926, she was expected to live a relatively normal life, well, normal at least by royal standards, as third in line to the throne, spending most of her early years out of the public eye. Everything changed in 1936, when her uncle, King Edward VIII, abdicated the throne in order to marry his true love, Wallace Simpson. You see, back then, marrying a divorcee, not to mention a two-time divorcee, was a huge faux pas to the Church of England. And just like that, Princess Elizabeth's father, King George VI, ascended to the throne, making her the next in line. And by 1952, following his death, her time arrived, and the rest is history. When the Queen ascended to the throne in 1952, she was a head of state in seven countries. The size of the Commonwealth has since expanded to 53 countries, comprising nearly one-third of the world's population, and still includes 16 countries where the monarch is officially the head of state. This brings us to Operation London Bridge, the plan that no one wants to talk about, the plan for what happens when the Queen dies. No matter how secretive Buckingham Palace may be about the plans that surround her death, everyone knows exactly what to do, and the plans, which were uncovered by the Guardian, are complex, intricate, and timed out to the exact minute. Phase 1, D-Day. According to the Guardian, on the day the Queen dies, Edward Young, the Queen's private secretary, will be the first official to convey the news, setting Operation London Bridge into full gear. And at the exact moment in which she passes, Prince Charles will become King, and Camilla will become Queen-ish. We'll explain that a bit later. On a secure line, Young will directly inform the British Prime Minister that London Bridge is down and the news of her death will be distributed to various heads of state before it is disclosed to the general public. Once the Prime Minister is alerted, the Foreign Office's Global Response Center will alert the 15 governments where the Queen is still considered the head of state. From there, the 37 nations where she still serves as a political figurehead will also be informed. After this, the announcement of her death will be shared with both the UK's press association and the rest of the media outlets across the globe. Outside the palace, the news crews will be able to assemble in a predetermined area next to the Canada Gate. The same message will appear on the palace's website on a dark background. All the flags at the palace will be lowered and bells will toll. Both Houses of Parliament are expected to gather within hours of her death. And on the evening of his mother's death, Charles will make his first address to the public as king. Now, it's the king of England. No more queen. So, there you go. Rest in peace to the Queen. I went to England and I seen Queen um, in the palace. So, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. It's your boy Young. It's okay.